the key to success for everything in business, science and technology is never to follow the others. Said Masaru Ibuka, born on 11th April 1908 in Japan, died on 19 December 1997 in Japan, was a Japanese electronics industrialist and co-founder of the Sony company along with Akio. Morita, follow not, success is yours, everybody keeps telling you. Follow your, your parents' footsteps, your guru's footsteps. Follow, the word follow has created the maximum amount of damage because they are asking you to blindly follow, not to use your brain. And you can see the maximum, the world is living in poverty because only on the maximum amount of people living in poverty in the world, with all this advancement is just because of the follow. They blindly follow, whether it is religion, whether it is politics, whether it is business, whatever be there is a real family also. Yes, you should never follow, you should be a seeker. When you seek, you can stabilize the foundation of your family tree and then from there you understand to open up new 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 areas masaru ibuka said key to success for everything in business is never to follow the others never to follow the others means it's not that you don't listen or practice from your from your relatives or your friends or from the others, but take another step. Like the Japanese Zen cones, in that the master asked the student after the 12th year in the monastery that he is going to have a test. And the test was the day he entered the monastery, the master asked him to plant a seedling. And that seedling become a huge, big, tall tree in this 12 years time. Master took the student to the tree and said, now you climb the tree. And the student started climbing and climbing. And when he reached the top, he turned back and said, master. And master said, climb a little more taller. And the tree started shaking towards the uh, upper end. It's become thinner and thinner. And there was no more place to climb anymore. The student turns back and says, Master! And Master said, now leave both the legs and both the hands and climb one more step ahead. Those are shocking cones when people hear that. But basically when you look into that, it's telling you, don't follow. You are holding on to me with both legs and both hands. You are hold, grasping your father and mother, your subjects, your textbooks, your schools, everything you're holding on. You're already grown up. Now it is your time to leave both legs and both the hands and take your own step forward. But they put it in the tree so people thought it was a very dangerous situation. What Masaru Ibuka said is to never to follow the others. That doesn't mean they are bad. Somebody asked Bodhidharma, if you see the Buddha on the road, Bodhisattva said, kill him. And everybody was shocked. And then every time when Bodhidharma was uh, trying to eat his, or whenever he tried to do his prayers or eat his food, he always turns to one direction and he bows, then only he'll eat his food and start the uh, satsang or whatever it is. Students when I asked him, Master, Every time you turn to one direction and you bow, to whom are you bowing? He said, to Buddha, my master. But he said, kill the Buddha. Yes, kill the Buddha means you don't carry him. He is there all over your body, experiences. Now without him, you must take it forward. That is the greatest Guru Dakshina you can give to any master, to any parent, to any institution, to any country. That was what is Masaru. Ibuka understood and they made Sony one of the biggest companies in the world. It's never to follow the key to success for everything in business, science and technology, never to follow the others. 
follow not success is yours the moment you don't follow that doesn't mean you are disconnecting blind following is not there when you are with your family the, that strength is very powerful you hold on to that power you are not disconnecting neither they will disconnect you also but take and make it more beautiful make it more flowering so that you can roar like a thousand men war you can look into your power like the indians they thought what ramana maharshi said ask who am i and all these monkeys in india they started sitting in the folded legs and hands and started asking he said no no bloody monkey what ramana maharshi they looked at ramana maharshi they thought he said bloody monkey look uh, looking like a dirty ugly looking man with a small dhoti if he is not working we should not so not work that was his circumstances of a maharishi ramana maharshi he said ask who am i means look into your power you have a power of a thousand man warrior more than that utilize that power once you do not know the power you keep coming to me and asking me many questions you are asking about god and the devil unnecessary things but when you are melted with your power that is success is yours follow not tell him don't follow then me if you are told so ask ask him who am i you can ask him that you can study what is mahabharata what is others but ramana maharshi never said even jesus christ is kept telling knock and the door shall be open he said knock into you your power the many doors will open they say nine doors are shut the tenth one opens for you there will nine times you suffer but you you are consciously doing a follow up you are not you are karma yogi not in greed so the tenth door will always open that was knock and the door shall be opened ask who am i and all the monkeys they all became saints yogis or naga sanyasis all the those big big monkeys monkeys sitting in the himalayas in the temples and ashrams and wasting their time they should explore like what what tata said i am not that stupid to sit under a tree and meditate i got thousands of things to be done that is my greatest to meditation of course after doing your hardest to work then you do shavasan to relax you sit under the tree you can see new opening coming up then that dhyana is good without working very very hard you can never sit that was what masar aibuko aibuka said that key to success for everything in business science and technology is never to follow the others follow not success is yours